Alrighty, so this is going to be a reading for my Aquarius. Thank you so much for joining me. We're going to go ahead and see what the week ahead has in store for you. Of course, keep in mind, this is general. If you want something that's more personal, just check out the description box. Okay, do not take in any messages that you know aren't for you. Don't speculate on it. I would rather you guys get a personal instead of having a lot of questions and then assuming things that aren't necessarily, you know, meant for you. And of course, if you want to see more of my readings, if you feel as if I resonate with you, subscribe, hit the like button, and let's get into the reading. So the first card is going to represent the theme for this time frame. So we do have the three of voices in reverse. And I actually like to see the three of voices in reverse because this is good. Upright, this would mean the three of swords. And with it being in reverse, the theme has a lot to do with you guys recovering from disappointment, coming out of the space of realizing that maybe a disappointment or something that didn't work out was actually a blessing in the end or it benefited you in the end. Mm. This is also like you guys no longer stressing on past energy this is you guys being super receptive for newness being super receptive to to new opportunities especially financially some of you are actually ready to start putting yourself out there for dating especially if you were like i said going through the process of letting go of disappointment hurt and just trauma in general now, an unexpected event that may take place during this time frame with the two of voices or the two of swords is either someone that you're waiting to make a decision on whether or not they want to be in a relationship with you or someone outside of yourself who has to make a decision, whether it's like a, a job interview you went on and you're waiting to hear back from them or like if you applied to go to school somewhere, whatever this may be there may still be a delay in getting an answer. Hmm. Some of you also may be put in a position to where you're going to have to make a decision that may not be necessarily the most comfortable one because you're put in a tight spot. Yeah, some of you have a very manipulative person around you and you're aware of this, but you're also in a space to where you don't know if you want to completely cut this person off because something about them, you may be waiting for them to like show you different than what you're seeing or something. But what I see here for the advice with the king of emotions in reverse or the king of cups in reverse, um, if you do have a cancer Pisces or Scorpio around you, Hmm. This person may be kind of emotionally, you and this person may be emotionally disconnected at the moment. You guys really need to find some sort of way to come to a common ground here, especially if you guys aren't speaking at the moment. Um, and regardless of the Zodiac sign, if you have someone in your life that you're, you're feeling yourself emotionally disconnect from more and more and more as you guys continue to take breaks or have like certain disagreements that go too far. You do need to make up your mind. What path are you choosing along head? And you need to think about the long term in choosing so and, and looking at all the patterns and the signs. Now, the challenge that may come up here, I have the muse of voices. So the challenge may be conveying your truth or truth, what? <laughs> conveying your truth to someone um, like a friend, lover, etc. Like speaking your truth and them actually hearing you out and listening may be difficult. Communication could be an issue. Words get minced or people take things out of context or take it too serious. Mm. It could be just little things that come up. 
You could have some days where you have anxiety or like a hard time getting to sleep. So insomnia. You guys do need to make sure you're taking care of yourself um, mentally. Hmm. Oh, you could get inspired to like take action on this new idea, but you could also have a level of like huge doubt accompanied with that idea. So this could be like, oh, okay, I'm going to start a t-shirt business for instance. And then with that, that's an idea you really would like to take action on, but then you also have a huge level of doubt on whether or not that's going to work. Yeah, and then also getting clarity from a manipulator around you. If you know this person's manipulative and that this situation is not good, that could also be a difficulty. Now, when it comes to love specifically, I do have the queen of emotions in reverse. So like I said, there's a disconnect between you and another person emotionally. Some of you are single and that's just not... <laughs> The focus at all, you may be very emotionally disconnected from love at this moment and just purposely kind of shutting off when it comes to that. You could be feeling like it's just a waste of time for you right now, especially with the things that you're trying to do career wise. You could also be dealing with the Cancer, Pisces or Scorpio, maybe even a Leo. But a lot of things are being brought to the surface when it comes to your love life as well. And clarity is being brought to the surface, too, after being stressed the hell out. A lot of you are stressed. And your mind is running rampant. Now, the last card is going to represent your career. And we have the five of cups in reverse. So this is you coming out of a space of regretting what you didn't do sooner or why you didn't take action on something, because you're starting to realize that everything happens for a reason and everything happens in divine timing. Um, a lot of you are going to be stepping out of this, like, woe is me, this opportunity could have went further, why didn't I do this? And looking at what you can do in the now to make the most out of your opportunities, which is really going to carry you forward. So this is some really good energy when it comes to career. Um, also, you guys are not regretful for quitting a job, leaving something that wasn't stable anyways and something you didn't feel connected to. Sorry about that, guys. But this is what I see. I hope I did put things in perspective for you. If you did take something from this video, thumbs it up and subscribe. Of course, all of my information to book a session will be in the description. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.